I'm Peter Blanc here in Atlanta at ACC 2010, and with me is Bill Cushman from Memphis, Tennessee at the VA. Bill, you've just finished the Accord blood pressure trial. Now, we have an Accord lipid, and we have Accord blood pressure. Right. Tell me about this trial. What was the trial? And then I'm going to ask you, of course, what was the bottom line? Sure. So within Accord, uh, 4,700 pe- participants were in the blood pressure trial. Everybody was in the glycemia trial. So this was different from who was in the lipid trial. And we basically were comparing a systolic blood pressure goal of 120 versus a goal of 140. And we felt there was very good evidence uh, that we should get below 140. So that's why they were the standard group. And then we said, well, the epidemiology would suggest going a lot lower would be beneficial. And we were successful in getting a very nice difference between the two groups of 14 millimeters of mercury. We said that we needed at least 10 to test the hypothesis. And, um, and when all was said and done, there was not a significant benefit for the primary cardiovascular outcome, which was cardiovascular death or non-fatal MI or non-fatal stroke. There was no benefit overall. It was 12% lower, but not significant. And uh, we had predicted that we would need 20% to show benefit. But you didn't really start with seriously hypertensive people, did you, or did you? Well, they could be on medicine. So they could be on as many as three medicines and have blood pressures ranging between 130 and 180, even though at the upper end they couldn't be on three medicines, for example. Um, So the average blood pressure was 139. Uh, and uh, in a mostly treated population. So that's actually a higher average blood pressure than we see in clinical practice when we're treating blood pressure. But you're not well. telling me that bl- high blood pressure is good for you, are you? No, absolutely not. All right, so how, so, do, you, how do you meld yeah. that with what you're telling me? Yeah, so I think we have very good evidence you ought to get below 140, okay? And so then, but to keep pushing and giving a second or a third or a fourth or a fifth drug to get down to 120 uh, does not seem to be warranted in, in our study. We, we did see some reduction in stroke that was significant, but strokes were pretty uncommon, much less so than we thought. And so um, even though it was a, a relative risk difference that was similar to prior hypertension trials, it was a secondary outcome and it occurred at a very low rate. Well, the INVEST trial has mm-hmm. shown that if you lower blood pressure too much, in fact, that's bad. Mm -hmm. You get some bad outcomes. Did you see some bad outcomes when you got to 120? We we didn't see major outcomes to be bad in terms of cardiovascular events or mortality. What we did see was a higher rate of certain serious adverse events that might have gotten somebody admitted to the hospital because their creatinine went up some, their potassium went up, they got low blood pressure, that kind of thing. One difference in INVEST is that in every hypertension trial almost, if you look at trials, the people that got the lowest blood pressures just spontaneously in the trial often did worse for outcomes. And so in in INVEST, their goal was 140, and it was really the people that were down around 100, 110 that that were doing poorly. So I I don't think it says necessarily that it's the treatment that did it. It may be identifying a high-risk population. But I think with all of these trials, we're we're finally getting a handle around how we best treat patients with diabetes. Sure. Yeah. Well, a lot of the CORD results would say it, it's simpler now. Uh, although there, are, it takes an awful lot of effort sometimes just to get down below 140 systolic, or to keep people on a statin, you know, or to even keep their A1Cs below eight. So, so we're saying do those things and do lifestyle in addition to that. Uh, but we don't have evidence from the from the trial that you should go a lot further and add a lot more medications. Thanks, Bill. Okay. Thank you, Peter.